Greetings and salutations, friends and gamers of all stripes. My name is GM Dave. I am your man behind the screen, and welcome back to RPG A Day 2021, Day 10. Today, we're going to talk about trust. Not trust in your players. Oh no, you cannot trust your players. Do not ever trust your players. Players are going to be late. Players are going to flank out on you. Players are going to do things that you don't expect and they're just going to make your life absolutely miserable. And before anybody gets their panties in a twist, I'm being facetious. And for those of you out there who are extra thick, that means I'm fucking with you. But all jokes aside, no. I am actually not talking about trust in your players. I'm not talking about trust between players and GMs. I'm not talking about any of that kind of stuff. I'm talking about, as a GM, trusting yourself. Trusting your judgment. Trusting that you can handle a surprise situation when it comes up. And so, as should be pretty obvious, this video is more tailored towards newer and less experienced GMs. But even those of us who have a lot of experience who maybe backslid on our GMing duties or maybe aren't feeling quite as confident because perhaps you screwed up in a session, perhaps you made some kind of big mistake and now your confidence is a little bit hit. The number one thing I would say to you is trust yourself. Once you get a few hours of gaming under your belt, once you've been exposed to the sorts of surprises that your players can hit you with, once you've been exposed to the kinds of tricky situations that we sometimes have to navigate in any sort of social situation, and do remember, tabletop games are social games. We are playing with multiple people, we are interacting with each other socially, so yeah, occasionally friction is gonna happen. Occasionally awkward scenarios are going to come up, you just need to trust in your judgment for the way you handle things. Does this mean you're always going to get something right? Of course not. Everyone makes mistakes. We're all going to make mistakes. But you can't be afraid to make those mistakes. You just need to be willing to recognize them and correct them going forward. Remember, at the end of the day, as a games master, you are the arbiter of the game. You are the one who is setting the rules. You are the one who is setting the tone, the pace, all of these things. You are going to be the one that the players are going to turn to for when a question comes up, when a ruling needs to be made, or when a situation requires a adjudication. And being able to handle these kinds of things efficiently and effectively requires that you have a degree of self-confidence. It requires you're able to trust yourself. You need to approach these situations confidently. You need to be sure of yourself and the way you're handling these things. That being said, do bear in mind that you need to be careful not to let this self-confidence and this trust in yourself cross over into arrogance or even potentially hostility. This is a two-way road that you're you're dealing with. Handling a situation with confidence and self-trust is going to enable the players to trust in your judgment because you're going to show that you have control of things. However, if you exert too much control, which is to say, if you are exerting so much control that you are resting the feeling of control from your players, that's going to develop a sense of animosity between you and them, and the trust in the whole of the table and the whole of the group is going to start to strain and could eventually fracture. So it is a little bit of a tightrope you need to walk, but on the whole, yes, it is important that you as the GM trust in yourself and your ability to make reasonable judgments at the table. You may not always get it right, and in fact, it's a guarantee that you will not always get it right, but that's okay. Mistakes aren't something to be afraid of, they are something to be learned from. And we cannot improve without making those mistakes. So allow yourself the leeway to make a mistake every now and then, but just make sure you're making it clear that you're going to use those opportunities to make yourself a better games master on the whole. And that's all I have for today, friends and gamers of all stripes. As usual, if you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment down below with your thoughts, and open up the description box to follow me on social media, in particular minds.com, where I back up the majority of my videos. While you're down there, I would greatly appreciate it if you follow the webtoons link to Phoenix Rising, the fantasy adventure webcomic that I work on with my friend Hair Illustrations, which we host monthly. And with all of that now said and done, friends and gamers of all stripes, as usual, I am GM Dave, I am your man behind the screen, and as always, I'd like you to remember that in the world of tabletop gaming, it is important that you not just sit back and watch, but get in there and game. Have a good one.